abstract factory pattern. In this abstract factory pattern, we are going to discuss and going to deal with a super factory, which will create other factories and those factory can create other factory of factories. So, that is the concept of abstract factory pattern. So, abstract factory pattern work around a super factory which creates other factories. This factory is also called a factory of factories. So, this type of design pattern comes under the creational pattern and as the pattern provides one of the best ways to create an object. In abstract factory pattern, an interface is responsible for creating a factory of related objects without explicitly specifying their classes and each generated factory can give the objects as per the factory pattern. So, there is a nice way to generate the super factory and then super factory will create other factories and each and every factory can create factory of factories. So, that is the basic notion behind this abstract factory method. So, we shall go for a demonstration practical demonstration to show you that in Java how such design pattern can be implemented. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this program, we shall implement abstract factory design pattern and we are going to create two uh, interfaces. One is the shape and another one is the color and concrete classes implementing these interfaces and we shall create an abstract factory class that is the abstract factory as the next step and factory classes that is the shape factory and color factory are defined where each factory extends abstract factory. A factory creator or the generator class that is the factory producer will be also created. An abstract factory pattern demo of a demo class which will use this factory producer to get an abstract factory object and it will pass the parameter like your circle, rectangle, square for shape to the abstract factory to get the type of the object it needs and required and it also passes information like the parameter like your red, green or blue for the color to abstract factory to get the type of the object it needs. So, let us go through some steps. So, here we are having certain number of states and we will be discussing one by one. So, at first we shall create one interface that is the shape.java and its implemented uh, implementing class that is the rectangle.java, square.java and circle.java. So, at first we are going for the shape.java. So, there is our class here shape.java and this particular interface, this particular interface shape is having only one method that is our draw. So, we have discussed this shape interface here. So, now we shall go for say circle. So, circle is one of the classes implementing this shape interface which is re rewriting the body for the draw method. Will be another two classes. So, one will be the uh, rectangle. So, in case of rectangle, so it is having this class rectangle implements shape and there is a draw method has been rewritten here. Then we shall go for another one. So, that is a square here. So, there is a square is a class which is implementing the shape interfaces. So, we have discussed that is a shape is nothing but one interface and it has got implemented in the class that is a rectangle.java, square.java and circle.java. So, now let us go for the next steps. So, here we will be defining one interface known as the color.java and this color.java will get implemented in the in three different classes that is the red.java, green.java and blue.java. So, let us go for that implementation. So, at first we will be going for this, uh, this is our color, this is the color is nothing but one interface, it, it is having only one method, unimplemented method that is our fill. So, now we shall consider there is a red dot java which is implementing this color interface and the fill method has got its body here. So, let us go for another two implementers, so we are having this blue dot java which is implementing this colored interface, the fill method has been written accordingly. So, we are going for the next one that is the green dot java. So, in case of green dot java, it is also implementing the colored interface and the fill method is having this system dot out dot print ln statement here. So, after this part we have discussed. So, there is a shape dot java is the interface, rectangle dot java, square dot java and circle dot java are their implementing class and we are having this color.java is interface and it is having the implementing class like your red.java, green.java and blue.java. Now, we shall go for this abstract factory.java. Okay. So, now let us go for abstract factory.java. So, this is my abstract factory.java here. 
Okay, we have got it. Extra abstract factory dot Java, and as it is an abstract class, so its its method will remain unimplemented. The body is not mandatory to be written here. So here we have written two abstract methods. There is the abstract color get color string color, and abstract shape get shape string shape. So we'll be passing some string here as the input parameter. So there is a color. Uh, a string color in case of get color and it is abstract uh, method so that's why the class is also abstract and as this is, is abstract method so we are not writing the uh, method body here and it returns color object so you know that color is nothing but one interface and similarly this is another method called the get shape which takes the shape string as input parameter and which returns the shape object as output so this is a respective body for this abstract factory now we shall go for this so we have completed this abstract factory here now we are we going for this shape factory dot java and color factory dot java so create factory classes extending abstract factory to generate object of concrete class based on given information so there is a shape factory dot java and color factory dot java they are nothing but the implementing class of this abstract factory abstract class so we, sh we shall go for the shape factory dot java so there is our shape factory dot java which extends abstract factory abstract class so here this is a method we are having there is a get shape so depending upon the string which will be passed as the input parameter the required shape object will be returned if the input parameter is null it returns null so shape type dot equals ignore case so if the if the string is circle then it returns a circle class object if the input parameter is uh, string is rectangle it returns rectangle class object if the input string is square it returns a square class object otherwise it returns null so this is a respective uh, method body for the get color which returns null so there is no such business logic we have written for the get color so that is the class that is the shape factory which extends the abstract class abstract factory so now we shall go for the other shape one so there is a shape factory here so i shall go for uh, this uh, shape factory and then we will be going for the color factory yes so there is a color factory here so this is a color factory which extends the abstract class that is the abstract factory and here in case of get shape we have just written null no business logic we have written here no if then else but in case of color get color this method that is a string color will be passed as input parameter if the color is equal to null if the input parameter is null it returns null if the input parameter color which is of the type string dot equals ignore case red it returns a red class object as output argument otherwise in case of green string it returns the green class object as output and if the string is blue it returns the blue class object as output argument otherwise it returns null so we have we have gone through up to step number six now we are coming to the step number seven so create a factory generator or produce a class to get factories by passing an information passing an information such as the shape or color so here the name of the class will be factory producer dot java so now let us go for this factory producer dot java so public class factory producer so it is having one method there is a, a public st a static abstract factory the name of the method is get factory which takes the string as choice as input parameter so if the choice dot equals ignore case shape then it returns the shape factory uh, class object as output otherwise it returns the color factory class object as output otherwise it returns null so actually it is returning the the shape factory uh, this shape factory class object as output argument if the input parameter is shape otherwise if the input parameter is color it returns this uh, return new color factory there is a color factory class object as output otherwise it returns null the name of the method is get factory defined under the class that is a factory producer so now let us come to the step number eight so that is the last but one step use the factory producer to get the abstract factory in order to get factories of concrete classes by passing an information such as type abstract factory pattern demo dot java so here we are going for the final class here so now here you see we are having this abstract factory shape factory is equal to factory producer dot get factory shape so as we have passed the string shape so it is returning the uh, the re respective uh, object so you can also find it here 
So whenever you are passing this, whenever you are passing this, uh, I'm just going for this uh, factory reproducer. Okay, so let me go for this implementation color factory. You know, there is a color factory. There is an abstract factory extends. There is a factory reproducer. Depending upon the input string shape, it returns the new shape factory. There is the shape factory class object will be returned. If the input parameter is color, it returns the color factory object as the as the output argument. Okay, so that's why as we have passed this shape, so it returns the respective class object as uh, as the output argument, and that has been kept in the shape factory. So now shape factory dot get shape. I pass this input string as circle. So whenever we are calling this shape one dot draw, we are getting the required output like this. So insert si inside circle colon colon draw method is getting executed. Whenever we have passed this input string, that is a rectangle as input argument. So whenever uh, so that has been kept in shape shape two, and then shape two dot draw, it is re uh, just printing this inside rectangle colon colon draw method. That means the respective rectangle class object within that the draw method which was defined the that that very method is getting executed so whenever we are passing this rectangle as the string as input uh, argument to this get shape method which is defined under the shape factory so get shape method so now what is what is happening it is returning the rectangle class object as output so whenever we are writing this shape to dot draw it is re executing the the draw method which was defined under the rectangle under the rectangle class so similarly for this red so here we are passing this color so it is returning the respective class object as output which has been kept in abstract factory that is a color factory here and whenever whenever you are calling this get color passing this red as input argument and then whenever we are calling this fill method we are getting this output like this so that is the inside red colon colon fill method is getting executed so that means it is it is that very method that is a fill method which is implemented in the red class and we know that red class implemented the color interface which we have shown in the uh, in our coding so similarly when you are passing this green as the string as input parameter so it is returning the color object and you know this color is nothing but one interface but as this green is the string which has been passed so the respective green class object will be created and that will be dumped on this uh, color2 so whenever color2 dot fill is getting executed we are getting this string that is the inside green colon colon fill method is getting executed similarly we are getting the output when the input parameter is blue string so in this way we have, we have given you the idea that how this abstract factory design pattern can get implemented so this is the respective uh, use case diagram you know this is the class diagram rather so if you go for the little bit zooming here so there is a factory producer so we are having this there is a java class factory producer we are having this abstract factory and there is a color factory and shape factory so we are having this get color and get shape here so there is a abstract factory constructor and here we are having this shape is nothing but one java interface and it has got implemented in this rectangle square and we are having the circle we are having this color as the Java interface and its implementing classes are this red, green and blue. So this is a color interface implementing classes are red, green and blue. This is a shape interface implementing classes are rectangle, square and circle. So this is our abstract factory, there is a J abstract class here and this class has got implemented, has got implemented in shape factory and also color factory. This is our factory producer and this is our abstract factory pattern demo containing the main method so this is the class diagram of this implementation of abstract factory design pattern thanks for watching this video